How exciting is this? Season 30 miners underway. How about it? Still waiting on a link from the teams. So as soon as I get that, we can hopefully get the game started. Two very good teams, I think. At least, at least in power ranking uh, predictor's eyes. Bottle otters. Uh, Titan Blue just won the Mooper in Season 29. He's playing Majors currently as well. Uh, one of the dual eligible captains slash players this season. Uh, something the CRC's instituted. Was punished heavily for his Majors level of talent though. Did not get a whole lot of tag coins in the draft, but made good use of them I thought. Picked up sevens to lead his defense and another another guy who's major is quality I would say fellow Lions fan and at that point <laughs> once you have tied in in sevens it doesn't really matter how you fill out the rest of your roster but they pick up Drew for the play defense uh, which I'm intrigued to see Drew on defense is uh, uh, I, I don't know we'll see <laughs> I think Seven's going to make it pretty easy on him. So he's got that working in his favor. And then Goat, their fourth ball, will be nuts to tight end on O. And he should do just fine in that spot. Doesn't need to be anything special. Just get pups. Let tight end carry you. And I think, I think Goat's going to manage that just fine. Really intrigued too about Iron Chef French's teams. They go Russ is the prelim, and Russ was a Nooper champion last season, a novice, had some minors minutes for my team. As I get the group link here. So Yelpa scoops him up as a prelim. And they fill out really well. Pick up Flaccid Trip, who lost the Mooper to Titan Blue last season. Uh, was an MVB winner on defense. So it'll be Russ and Flaccid, the reigning MVB on defense for Iron Chef French, which should be uh, pretty, pretty fantastic. And then meanwhile, on offense, you got Kelvin, who struggled last season statistically. And I think that was more about the team he was on. Uh, still was incredibly slippery, slippery in Juki when we played him last season. And then Taylor Whiff, who has had many Smurf accusations levied his way, or their way. Um, but he's been checked out by the mods. Appears to just be a long-time pubber who's joining competitive for the first time. Played some region wars, if you're able to catch them in that. A lot of hype behind him. Curious to see how that's going to turn out. I think, again, uh, playing with Kelvin is going to make things relatively easy on him. Ten minutes of ads? God, I'm going to be rich, dude. We've got three players on both sides in group here, so we'll give hopefully another minute or two. Yeah, very curious to see how t and really Iron Chef French, their success is going to be, is Russ going to live up to the hype? Is Taylor Whiff going to live up to the hype? I'm inclined to say yes, as someone just followed. Thank you for the follow. Garlic Hippo, thank you for the follow. And Goat just finally... And by the way, 
uh, we've had some bad name changes before. How about uh, I'm a goat goes to <laughs> decides to change his name to Super Beef. Um, maybe that's more of a lateral move. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's a tough one. He's got his customary witch hat on, though. Yeah, and then this flaccid Titan revenge game adds a little bit of adds a little bit uh, more spice to this. So all in all, looking forward to it. As both teams are in group, but have not given the ready signal. Uh, just a reminder: it is Merrill three times today. Game one, game two, and game five. Clean logo logos for both sides, too. Taylor Whiff deciding to go no flare for this game. Had the music flare upon joining group. The music notes. Now appears they will not be using a flare this game. And I've always... I've always wondered... Um... And there's probably, I don't know if playing with no flares is an advantage. Uh, sometimes those flares extend into your viewport. Um, and you can see someone before you would normally otherwise see them. And I don't know how much that has an impact, but... As we go ahead and launch into game one. And I do have to turn on game sounds because I have Yelpa's uh, cap sounds. So, you guys are going to have to hear game sounds, and I apologize. I've always wanted to do a, like, a, a poll of players to see what texture path they use, and then choose flares that, like, clash or uh, cause, like, optical, not illusions, but, like, mess with your, your vision uh, with those col the colors of people's texture paths in the background. And see if it would have any impact. Is Kelvin out early here as ICF brings in the first cap of the game. 1 0. And I'll refrain from talking as people cap. I'm not used to having cap sounds. Russ and Flaz a trip off to a good start. Drew Fun's sevens letting out the early grab for cap. And this, there's been a lot of grabs from bottle otters already. Don't know if this is sustainable. One thing I saw from Russ when we played with him, as we're gonna sell out for this tag pro. I don't think they win it. Yeah, that's a. If you said four bot, you better win that. They don't, and it's a sweep over the bottle otters. I was going to say, however. Uh, the one thing I found when we played with Russ last season was that he is a return machine. And if you give him these easy flaccid grabs, he will put up 20 returns on you. As he's got a new ats to show uh, to show off. Taylor Whiff can't hold on here. Let's see. Kelvin with the OD play nearly hangs on in time for the rest of the squad to arrive. Does not. It's so 1-1 one, here. Park Hart, thank you for the follow. Uh, I would agree with you. It probably should be NICF. <laughs> you are... Well, you know what? NOS Poet, because the Majors team is Iron Chef Japan. Maybe Poet just did that for Miners as well. That's a, that's a big tag, Pro. It's a sweep the other way. Juice in a tag for ICF this time. And they'll bring it in for a cap, so it's been power-ups. Uh, super beef is I'm a goat. Yep, so both teams capitalizing off that juice tag pro combo. It was Kelvin early for Iron Chef French. Brought one in without the aid of power ups. You see Flaccid trying to watch the handoff here. Good contain. Oh no! Goat gets by him! Here comes Goat! Trying to sneak under! Oh, but Kelvin reads it. And that was the right play from Flaccid, I think. Wanted to back off as Titan will get by Russ. And 
can't let him have that. Able to get the OD. Seven's pushing out. Taylor with the push out's going to seal the OD return. But because of that pressure, it's going to be another pup sweep over to the bottle otters. So now here comes Sevens. Blessed Hobman's tail. Goat. All three. He could not make another play this series. I'd be so hyped because he got my flaccid there. <laughs> That's that he's uh he sealed his uh serious performance with that play. Titan patient on his boost. Very tricky this Titan blue is. As here he comes, good blots and base, and he's gonna get the flag in time. Make that two to two. Flaccid opting to grab here. Pups up. Both sides relatively safe. Taylor Whiff cannot time up that tag pro. I think he's clueless as to when that tag pro is. 51 is the answer. He was nowhere near that. Love the cap sound from Sevens. That's another cap off the back of a tag pro for Bottle Otters. And it seems to be a power-up game right now. Titan out once again. And this was more of what I was in. Great snipe by Kelvin. That was more of what I was anticipating. Uh, Goat Titan struggled early. Uh, a lot of flaccid grabs. But they seem to have figured, um, figured Russ and Flaccid out just a little. As here we go on the handoff attempt. Flaccid with the boost able to get that return. And honestly, I don't know if figuring out is the right word. It's been just a lot more fluid of a game state. Um, and I think that favors bottle otters. Like, like you see there, they get the two-on-one grab opportunity. Nice de rolling defusal, I think that was. Uh, Taylor Whiff with the tag pro gets defused out of the lane. And make that four to two for the bottle otters. I am going to take a moment to refresh here as soon. You know what? This looks like a, well, yeah, this looks like a good spot. I didn't have stats. Titan, Titan's so good at finding those grabs off, like handoffs that really shouldn't be grabs. Flaccid can't hit that boost. The bomb play comes through. Five to two. Now for the bottle otters. And I think as predicted, Sevens and Titan have been uh, absolute menaces on the tiles. Oh, how about Terrell Whiff though getting by the juice? That was it. That's a cap saving play. He's trying to cap it. Can't quite. Oh, but here's one for Drew for no, but Kelvin from downtown. Russ now can get by the gate. Blots are not fabulous. Goes off back wall. Don't think that was the idea. I think he wanted to wrap it all the way. That's defender with flag for you, though. Russ now with an attack. Should be patient here. His pups are spawning. He's going to push it in, though, on two. And you see some of the inexperience showing there. Could very well be capped the other way. Return for cap for the bottle otters. And it will come, and they will cap. Yeah, top 40 sits. It is super late. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh, the button from Goat was actually insane. Like, I know he got sniped there. But that, that button from Goat was insane, dude. I'm telling you, he's the ultimate support.
Looking for the handoff once again. They can't find it that time. Need these tag pros. They're going to get one if they can chain it. Well, they can't chain it. Somehow Taylor Whiff pits up that one. That is it. They just got to go. You're out past everyone. You got to go. Oh. I think Kelvin just needed to grab like right away. Once, once Taylor won their tag, and they're just gonna, uh, he, uh, Taylor had killed a couple of them. A couple were already dead. Uh, he was past three if he just takes it out of base, flag crew. Titan 7's best miners yet? There's no doubt. I, I think there's no doubt. They will run rough rough shot over the majority of the league. Another uh, type pro picked up by Flaccid Trip. Juice by Drufa here. Let's see if they can use that tag pro more effectively this time. Bottle Otter's playing that well, and that's how you want to attack tag pros. Come at them from multiple angles. Boost bombs. Just surround them. Usually works out for you. So well done by the bottle otters. Neutralize that tag crew. Yeah, and again, I think the the story here in game one, uh, Titan and sevens dominant. Drufa and Three, Goat more than two, capable. One. And. Some inexperience definitely showing here for uh, for Russ and Taylor Whiff. I think by the end of the season they'll be up to speed, but right now they the uh, they're making some key errors. As Sevens goes for 322 and 20. Drew on his defense debut, nothing terribly flashy. Uh, creep creeping up on three minutes of prevent, but. Like once again, uh, did the job and let sevens go off, which is basically all he's going to have to do this season. I will say, I think a, a tough week one matchup for anyone, in particular Iron Chef French, because of the inexperience to go up against Titan and sevens, that's, that's hard. Could just be a little game one jitters. And honestly, the maps kind of suck too. Moon base is going to be uh, fairly difficult. Oh, I think. The week I played with Russ last season was on moon base, and we kind of figured out how to play defense. I agree, the logos are super cute. Uh, some of my favorite logos this season, and the best part is they have transparent backgrounds. So they just, they look so much more clean. Looks like both sides are ready. See if uh, Iron Chef can bounce back here. Used to be a big Iron Chef watcher back when I was younger. Uh, but now I'm older and don't have cable because I don't want to pay for it. So I do not watch Iron Chef anymore. Got a BOGO stir fly, but each came with 75% of the normal amount. Um, is that is that sewer worthy? 
you're still getting 50% for free, right? Which I understand is not what you were after, but could be worse. Is This feels like a repeat of game one. Calvin going to bring in the first cap of the game? I'm going to refresh because I don't think that cap sound went. Yeah, it actually is kind of nuts, just tied in in general, as we do get sounds back. But yeah, kind of kind of a mirror of game one here. Uh, an early cap from Calvin. We'll see if it ends up in a sits two bottle otters win again. Could be a 2-0 lead here if they get this return on the GOAT. They cannot. Calvin on the gate gets his own tag there. And it's a power-up sweep for ICF, so off to a good start. Looking for the sack play was Titan. Not going to come, and I think a bad grab, grab from Flaccid Trip. Very capable for Titan here. Trying to work his way around, and he will bring it in. One to two. And I think you can't have Flaccid making those errors. As here we go. They had a cap just like that. In the first game. Oh lord, and the grabs and they're out. They finally get reset. I agree, Rush should not have chased around. But you can't have you can't have Flaccid making those mistakes. He's he's the veteran on this team. And it's you know, you got two basically rookies at the minors level. Uh, you need to be on point. So here ICF tries to set up a tag pro lead. The rolling will be diffused and the return will come off the double tap. And Griff, I think you got it right. That's a lucky spawn for Flaccid. I don't know if he meant he knew Russ was going to spawn there, but otherwise he hits that bomb like that, and they're out past two. Nice bomb from Taylor. Oh, and he can't get by the gate, but a little bit of an opportunity here for Taylor with. Has that boost. Trying to take this low. I think running into Kelvin probably saved his life there. So here come power-ups once again. Kelvin trying to pick up this tag. He does. Russ can't pick up the roller, so... Gonna be tough to cap this one. They gotta get the defusal in the return. It actually looks good here. Oh, they take the boost away from Taylor. And Sevens gets the OD return. Oh, just let him boost. Oh, and Taylor's not moving. Are they pissed? Oh, and they're capping the other way. Taylor's still not moving. It's another one! <laughs> what is going on? He's left! They can't call timeout! They don't have a sub! What is happening? Oh, this could get ugly. And Taylor's left the group! Wait, Taylor's back in group. He's back on the team. Okay, so may have lagged out there. Don't know if that... Initially, I thought that was in response to Kelvin taking that boost away. I'll admit, I did not have, I did not think highly of him in that moment. Uh, but back in, uh, apparent seems to have lagged out. Don't know if that's accurate.
But a substitute lead here for the bottle otters. Not ideal. Oh, and Taylor! Oh, he's gone again. It's surely an internet issue. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> there was just a refresh. As they were getting out of base, he could have contained. I think I think they're gonna need a sub for the rest of the game, dude. The rest of the series. Make that sub. Hey everyone, soon. get in the TPM queue now. Everyone queue now, apparently. <laughs> Welcome to Miners, Sweaty Pete. You're not wrong, dude. Should have been Miners, by the way. He, he played more than capable enough on our team last season. Some of his jutes are insane. And once you get past the tough Irish exterior, really Don't a nice guy. A Are you allergic to awesome? Not allergic to awesome. But I think Taylor's router is allergic to their ISP or something. Don't think they'll call Pete? Probably not. But he should, I think Pete should be on a monitor roster. Like, not, not joking. Wait, Taylor's gonna bring one back? But I'm saying there was a chance. Are you allergic to awesome? Off the lag. On the board, a comeback possible. Plenty of time left, three minutes to play. If they, if they come back here, it, it this will be one of the greatest combats this, this game has ever seen. And I've seen eight cap combats. Russ doesn't want to kiss. Probably should have, if we're being honest. I guess Juice on Reese, who maybe kiss, not the greatest thing in the world, but it's also tied in with the flag, which is. Maybe the equivalent of a Jujuice in this situation, so. Drew for a nice round around. Still living here, remember, he's an offender at heart. Oh, the, the, the nub spike? Surely they cap it? They will. How smart is Kelvin? That's that miner's level IQ right there. Bomb play, bomb play, go, 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 go! He could have capped twice now. He can cap it. Oh, I'm saying thank there's a God. chance. Are you allergic to awesome? Another one! No, he went too quick! If they got the return, it might have been one, though. Okay, okay. True, very big boat. <laughs> Flaccid trip can't contain t Titan. I'm lagging out of the game. I think everyone's lagged out of the game. That was not just me. I think Dallas is done. I can't get in this game, dude. I right, hold on guys, we're gonna we're gonna tab out for a second, I apologize.
I can't even join the game. What was the linkage, dude? Okay, they're coming back to group. Eight seven, you said? Okay, they say eight seven was the final. What a weird one. I did not ban HD, so surely he's memeing. That was weird. I've not seen something that happened like that in a while. You did? I uh, wonder how you banned him without being a mod. Questionable. Is he actually banned? I honestly can never I can never tell with him. Uh it is Moon Base Game Three, by the way. So, I'm not sure really how to take game two. Uh, Bottle Otters gifted a fair amount of caps off the Taylor Whiff lag issues, and then uh, ICF Storm back, and then Bottle Otters kind of lag out there. ICF brings one or two back. Very odd game. Um, but I think the moral of the story is that they can be competitive against this team. But unfortunately, the result is 0-2 so far. As we go ahead and get into game three. Bottle Lauder is holding the two to nothing series lead. Three, two, one. Woo! Yeah. yeah. That was my impression of the opening cheerleaders. What could Taylor Whiff put on the brakes, man? Highlight real cap to start it off on Moonbiz. Here he goes with another chance. OG's pretty good here, though. And the flag has been constantly out here. Kelvin hunting the corner of the flag tile. Couldn't quite hit it. Titan rolling on flag. You hate to see that for ICF. The kiss. Don't hate it. Yeah, I don't hate it. Sevens might have to defuse here. Ops not to. It's going to run out in second anyway. I think I would have just opted to get the return. Um, I think you'd rather have flies. Well, I guess you'd rather have flies and not Jason, but... Alright, good chance for Titan here. 
flag in base for him. He's just got to make his way out. Plays the portal games and gets by Russ. They're doing a pretty good job staying ahead, though, and clogging his path forward. I like that he's trying to subvert. Oh! Great block from Drufa. But Goat drops Whiff to guard Flag there, and it's not going to work out for him. Two tab pros now, though, over to the bottle otters. That's their, uh, I think, a consecutive putt sweep here. See what Magic Taylor Whiff has. Uh, the answer is a lot of it. He's gonna cap it. But I'm saying there was a chance. Are you allergic to awesome? An absolutely chaotic bomb, and somehow Taylor Whiff makes his way through it. Brings it in two nothing. Two caps for Taylor Whiff. Looking to make it a Hattie here. The natural Hattie goes off back wall. Titan's not in position. A chance. Are you allergic to awesome? And there it is. The natural hat trick for Taylor Whiff. Only three minutes into the game. And they're over oh, Russ. Nice poplin. See if they can, as Sal says, uh, redeem the typical ICF tag pro here. Does not appear likely, as Seven's on the hunt with this juice. Honestly, Russ should have just grabbed into the juice there. Uh, I think he probably kills Seven's. And then they get a free hand off, but... Seems to have worked out for him anyway. Flaccid trip, I love the idea, but the blots aren't in place. Ran into his own blocker, actually. Last moves from Russ, gets by Goat, two in base here. Wait. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, he had it. All he had to do was take this bomb off flat off the wall, and that was a cap. Goat really has it in. Gave him a lot of room to play with there. Here comes Taylor Whiff with the roller. Oh, and now Titans out past four. Taylor gets to split, but can't get by the juice. Oh, and Droof is going to make it another. Hey, everyone, get in the TPMQ now. And just like that, the lead's down to one. Just about halfway gone here in game three. Couple flaccids on either end. Here we go on pups again. Titan gonna take this opportunity to grab, and that's not gonna work out for him. As it's a pup sweep, but flaccid did die going for that tag pro. Wait, the great bomb from Russ clears Titan. Chance. Are you allergic to awesome? And that's the fourth cap. Count them four for Taylor Whiff here on the night, or I guess on game three. Don't know how to phrase that. It's Kelvin trying to bring a bad door. Uh, let's see what Drewfers got. A whole lot of nothing. I will say that was good recognition by Taylor Whiff. They all were trying to play Russ's rolling. And they let Taylor Whiff sneak out a grab top. So good recognition from Taylor to get that grab. Seeing as they were pushing to block off the rolling. Russ can't win that. Titan's going to pick it up right out from under him. Diffused and double tap. Well... Not really double tap, but nice play from Kelvin regardless. As that's a poor bomb from Flaccid Trip. And again, you would prefer not to have Flaccid making those sort of errors.
Titan doesn't fat attempt to last it on a string, though. Here comes Titan, wants it back while the blots are fat. Bottle otter's back within one. Nice bomb from Flaccid that time gets the return over to Russ. And Titan improving difficult to track down here. Pup spawning once more. And it's a pup sweep. Two rollings over the bottle otters. Rolling on flag. One was diffused on the gate. And the, oh, this self diffuse from goat does not work out at all. Taylor Whiff able to get the kiss off the diffusal. Now Russ out top side. They can't get Titan though, and it's a kiss. Russ and Flassie doing a nice job there. Pups coming up relatively soon. Russ has been having trouble winning power-ups, it's felt like. Titan, as he so often does, takes the chance to grab, put some pressure on the opponent, and it's going to result in a uh, tag pro for GOAT. Fortunately for ICF, Taylor Whiff able to pick up that juke juice. Russ, I think, pushing a little too hard. He might have been forced to, though. Oh, Titan, nice move. Should be capable here. And it sure is. Four to four. But now Flaccid Trip out past three. Can Goat go big on OD? He sure can. Look at the push out. Does finally get the return, too. <laughs> HD, what are you doing? I'm half tempted to turn off the ban links feature of Nightbot, but I'm also concerned as what HG's trying to post. With Tag Pro, I think the rolling scares me a little more. Sevens does get diffused and returned. That Tag Pro is out, so this is really weird. Ugh. I think it's going to be okay. Uh, by the way, I believe he's allowed to go O, as defense is solely his preferred position. Okay. This is not a hard positional restriction. Oh, no. The last second cap from Bottle Otters. Taylor with four caps, 15 returns, but it's not enough. Bottle Otter just clutch out the win. 240 sits and a Hattie for Titan. Neither defense doing a particularly fabulous job, but Bottle Otter is doubling up on pups there. My scoreboard names are wrong? What do you mean? By the way, was that seven or six to five or five to four? I think it was six to five. Five to four. Gosh darn it. I knew it too. I doubted myself. <laughs> Well, of course it was because Taylor Whiff had all four caps. I knew that. I'm, I'm silly. Alright, interesting game three. In the game, it says CBS and Veggie Tiles. Are you sure?
No need to doubt yourself. I'll doubt for you for me. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know. I will pull up the scoreboard. That shouldn't... Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. I got gotcha. you. No, it's always looking out for me, ma'am. All right, should be fits now, by the way. <coughs> All right, game four underway. And I honestly should have been doing predictions this entire time, but what can you do? Taylor, we have a good first grab here. He wants another four. This might be a good start for him. He's taking a really long time to get the flight, though. And I think that's one thing I've noticed. The... Like, at times, he's appropriately aggressive. But it feels like on a lot of, a lot of these... Oh, uh, this is uh, not ideal. A lot of these capping up His first cap goes to Drew. Um, feels like on a lot of these opportunities, he's not aggressive at the right time. He, he's very conservative, or they're very conservative, uh, when they shouldn't be. I think they've missed several capping opportunities. Backtracking for a boost, backtracking for a pup, or just kind of backtracking in general. But at the times, he's getting really, they're getting really good grabs uh, by being aggressive with their movement. It's very funky. As another cap comes. Off the back of that tag pro sweep for Ghana Waters. And part of that hopefully will come with time for Taylor. That, that knowledge of when to attack the flood tile. That's great patience for Titan it makes it 3-0. And he's out once more. I feel like saying something was an odd uh, is just, it's code, it's code word toxic, you know what I mean? Like, it's a polite way of saying that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. An odd decision. An odd route. Thank you, Sil. I appreciate that. Taylor can't get by the gate. It was a nice out, though. Thank you, Sil. Hide the mods are here. <laughs> Titan should be able to. Well, Taylor, that's a great pull. And he, they so will come. Are you allergic to awesome? All right, so first of the game for Taylor. Uh, that's five caps across these two moon base games. Broncos country. Let's ride. And Broncos Russ country. brings in his first. I believe that might be his first cap of the series, which I understand he's a defender, but. I didn't gonna bring in another and a good chance as the flaccids keep coming. Although speaking of flaccids, flaccid does make it out of base. If it got to that portal, it was close. Uh, not able to though.
I don't want to overreact to week one, but depending on the, how this series finishes, I may have a hot take for you guys. I do want to see how the rest of these games play out, though. We're only halfway through this game. I feel like we've been in game three for forever, dude. Uh, just halfway through here, four to two is the lead. Goat, that's a great move. Probably could have gotten in the roll and Drufa decided to take that away from him. Had the opportunity to meet Goat not too long ago. Not very nice guy. Wish him a long and successful tag pro career with no major injuries. As Trufa. Hey everyone, get in the TPMQ now. What just it kind of looks just too easy, don't it? Would love to meet Flaccid at some point, but I don't think that's in the cards. Let's see, Kelvin taking the chance to push this, trying to get Russ that juicy will. It's a tag pro for Taylor as well, the infamous ICF tag pro once again. <laughs> Taylor's just gonna grab with it. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. He's done it again! What if they're just saying screw, screw it, just play normal? Because we can't use tag pros anyway. Something happened with Kelvin there. Not sure if he was typing something or was sitting on that wall for a second, not moving. HD, Jesus, dude. Just tell me what you're trying to post. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> if you get permanently banned from the channel, I don't know if I can help you, dude. I've given over control of the channel to Nightbot. I've no, I'm very scared as to what his link actually is. Nice contain there from Taylor. Now I'll say this, um, well, again, I'll save the tastes for the end. Not sure what you want bank of butts for. I really don't have any good parts for, like, high amounts. I need to come up with something. I know Yelp has got his hot tub stream, so I can't just copy that. Are you asking me, or should that be an award? Uh, like a points reward? Soup? Soup sounds really good. Depends on the soup, though. Shirt off points reward? Uh, you gotta pay me for that. Although... Somewhat ironically, I am not wearing a shirt right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I 
did go to the gym today, so I'm somewhat feeling myself a little, you know? Get a little pump on. How humid is it? Not particularly. It was a it was a pretty pleasant day today. That is seven to two. Russ doing his best to make it seven to three here. What did I do at the gym? Um well so I've been trying to be like when I was training in the bots um tantrum. I had followed this Three, um, two, just one. a basic push-pull leads program that actually worked really well for me. I got up to like 170 and I felt pretty good. So I was going to start doing that uh, again. Just make that a more regular um, thing for me. I've kind of been slacking. So I was going to do that. Showed up and all of the uh, benches were taken. So I turned it into uh, like mile and a quarter run. Uh, did some push-ups, some ab work, so it wasn't all lost, but not 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 what I wanted to do. Have Windows push on Monday? I apparently. And the, and the thing I've got, you know, so it's push-pull leads, so it's six days a week. Um, I usually do, even when I was uh, training, like actually trying to get bigger, I only did it five days a week. So I just kind of rotate through, so I don't always do the same, same exercise, you know, the same muscle group on the same day. And I'm not, like, at a... A lifter gym per se, you know, it's a it's a chain gym, and I like it. Uh, but they, it's not like they have a huge selection of of benches and squat rats and that sort of thing. You know, they've got a, you know they they've got a couple of squat rats, like three be three four benches, something like that. That was game three, right? No, that was game four. Okay. Alright, back to Merrill for game five. ICF trying to avoid the sweep. Um, I don't think... Well, I would be surprised if you told me before this it'd be a sweep for bottle otters. I would have been surprised. Um, seeing this now, not all that surprised. I think Russ and Taylor certainly look out of their elements at times. Um, and Flaccid and Kelvin aren't playing well enough to cover for them. And that's an issue. And so my hot take is... Not only is this ICF team, um, not only was ranking them at the top of the, uh, towards the top of the league a mistake, uh, I'm questioning whether their rookies are going to pull it together at all. And I wonder if this team is going to fall apart and be a bottom place team at the end of the season. That is my week one um, hot take. If you wanted to be reasonable, you'd say that this offense and this defense is likely um, that they're playing are likely going to be the at the very least tight end sevens will be in uh, consideration for both OBOS and DBO DBOS awards and this is probably the hardest matchup they'll play the majority of the season. Uh, but you're going to have to get through these guys to win a mooper. Yeah, I, I was high. I bought into the pre-draft Russ hype because I like Russ. Um, and he did play well for us, to be fair to him. 
uh, last last season. Thoughts on best team in the league? Well, you, so if you remember my poorly drawn power rankings, I had uh, tonight the Night's Watch uh, as first. I don't agree with that. I, I when I I've, I thought Buggy was going to play defense. He's not, which concerns me. I don't think Crowman and Curb get it done. Um, I think bottle otters are in the conversation. OPH certainly is up there. I don't. I'd have to watch. I don't know much about how N N4 plays, uh, and the cell certainly trolls at times. But uh, if, from everything I've heard, my boy B has not missed a beat. So that certainly makes them a dangerous team. I'd have to check to see some of the other scores tonight. Um, cause you, while week one can be misleading, it's also not misleading in a lot of ways too. I do love B. That's, that's my original, uh, I don't even know what to call him. I guess one of my original friends in this game. Uh, played on Pi together all the time. Was on more on a USC team together. Kelvin brings in one, the equalizer for ICF. Uh, we played we played uh, novice B team my first season. Uh, he was the one that told Coos to pick me up in free agency, so we played on B team together in season eight. Um, we ended up playing minors together season what season was that I think it was season 15 because we had some man seven because uh, I wanted being Obama could only afford Obama yes the pyromaniacs dude um, yeah so could only afford Obama some man seven was like a zero TC ball that we took and then for after week one, some man seven was leading the league in caps, <laughs> and I I traded him. I think like week two or week three, I traded him for B. So we had like the most expensive tag coin team like ever assembled, and we sucked, dude. I mean we were horrible. B could never show up for scrims. He would choke the games and like play atrociously. So I ended up dropping, just straight dropping him. Uh, picked up spiking. Who was originally a defender had switched to offense and we made a run to the Foci 4 that season in like ridiculous fashion. We were 500 going into playoffs. Took out of the one seed doors this dope selfie joy beat that team in the second round. Uh, beat PK's team first round and he had like a uh, he had Kutrabar, uh, PK. I'm struggling to remember their other two players right now, but they had a pretty good team. And then we lost to Bama and Mufro and the Foci 4 who went on to win the uh, Mooper Bowl. What a season that was. Oh, Run nice cap. Let's ride. More of the story, that being that uh, I I enjoy B as a player. You also lost Foci Four that season. So tell me, were you on Fuzzy's team? Was that you, Club Penguin? And you guys lost the VZ, right? And small caps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That season was stacked, dude. It was Taco, VZ, I think Neb was on that team. That was a stat team. And then Bam and Mufro, they had Pavement and someone else I don't remember. That was a really stacked minor team. I mean, Dope Dora's Selfie Joy was a minor team, dude. That is nuts. Blackberry, okay, that's right. Were they going by Tanador at the time, or were they Blackberry at that point? Oh, Pavement was fifth ball? That's true, because they did have five-man rosters. D 
berry. Okay. I've not really been paying attention to this game. 50 minutes is a lot of tag for the stream. Uh, it is rolling for Kelvin here, diffused as was Drufa. Yeah, still. Um, you go back. Bob streamed our game against uh, that Uncle that Sonny. dope team. Let's run. Oh, they lost us. Uncle it was Sonny. me, Obama, P Dog, and Spiking, dude. And for the first time in his career, P Dog looked like he could carry a flag. I've never seen like all season. He like the worst flag carrier I've ever seen. Uh, and like spiking goes god mode that series. I had a mid middling series against that team, but P Dog went off. Like he capped a few times when he like never caps, and spiking just went absolutely off. And then Obama just held it down on the back end. Yeah, that was a that's probably the series I'm most proud of winning. That, I mean, that was such a slog. Every game was like one cap. Yeah, what a what a what a series that was. Yeah, P Dog only played like two seasons. After that season, he, uh, I believe, he quit competitive and hasn't played since. Played a novice season, played the minor season with us, one defensive rookie of the season. I think one DBOS potentially, or it was up there, and then just left. I see him in pubs, but he was in school to be a civil engineer at the time. Don't think, um, I assume that's what he's doing right now. Hey, by the way, it's three to one ICF. They've, uh, after a tough four games to start things off, they've, uh, they're holding on to a two cap lead here. Taylor Whiff, what a move. I'm saying there's a chance. Are you allergic to awesome? Four to one is the lead for ICF. 90 seconds thereabouts left to play. Yep, as I've said it when I was streaming majors too, it's really hard. It's really hard to sweep a team in this format. Just because the variance is so high. Uh, two to four, it's not over yet. Uh, but power ups are such a huge variant from game to game. In just 10 minutes, you can, you can play crappy for a minute and it'll cost you a game. You don't have that second half to come back. I like the change, but it's certainly. Um, Certainly makes it difficult for the best team to win every game. Yeah, to win every game. They're gonna make it three hey to four, everyone. by the way. <laughs> Are you nervous yet? There's a bomb of base. Are you nervous yet? Are you nervous yet? They keep dying. Oh, oh, Titan went too hard. He went too hard with it. It's over. ICF holds on. Yeah, Titan. I don't. I think if Titan doesn't boost there, they're probably okay, and they probably kept that. ICF fortunate, but they hang on. They get the win. So certainly some things to build off of for ICF. Um. Yeah, not a, not horrible. T uh, yeah, sure thing on the stream. Uh, sevens and and Titan look dominant as we expected, and I think ICF rookies have some work to do. Very entertained. Uh, who else is streaming right now? I'll go raid someone. Looks like ooh, ooh Bald Eagle is streaming. I always love Bald Eagle, dude. Hmm. 
Okay. Adios, everyone. We'll see you next time. GG's.